okay h yes number here yeah yeah okay now solution of h yes number 8h yes. so question is given here x is equal to y and to this equation you can write here x minus y is equal to 0 you can write this equation one okay now compare okay i forgot to check the answer okay what was our answer of this g number answer our g number answer was okay 300 x cos 300 plus y sin 300 was 3 okay our 3 was there yes 3 was there i think yes 3 now comparing comparing it with a x plus y a x plus a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero okay first let me see okay whether the camera is running or not if it is running out of space then all my time will be wasted okay 56 minutes oh my god i think it will be So now when we compare it with okay this equation, so what is here in place of a there is 1, a is equal to 1, in place of b there is minus 1, and c there is no constant, so c is equal to 0. So now we can write here root under a square plus b square, that means it is, it is here 1 square plus minus 1 whole square is equal to here is 1 square is 1 plus minus 1 square is plus 1 so this is equal to root 2 okay now in this equation okay this equation divide both sides here now okay first I'll write this is x minus y is equal to 0 okay so now divide this okay divide divide both side by so divide both side by this root 2 okay so now dividing both side by root 2 now this can be written as x by root 2 minus y by root 2 is equal to 0 by root 2 Okay, so this can be written as now a special form x 1 by root 2 and then plus y and again minus 1 by root 2 this minus okay take inside and is equal to this is equal to 0 0 by root 2 is equal to 0 okay so now compare compare with compare with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p okay so now what we can do here compare x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p so what we can do now here so we can write here what cos alpha is equal to how much here cos alpha is equal to 1 by root 2 and sin alpha is equal to minus 1 by root 2 ok ok first I have to write the chain then cos alpha is equal to 1 by root 2 and then sin alpha is equal to minus 1 by root 2 and p is equal to here 0 perpendicular is ok length is 0 now since since cos alpha is positive and sin alpha is negative negative okay negative the angle alpha the angle alpha the angle alpha 
Lies in which quadrant? See there. Cos two stands for that. Cos is positive in the fourth quadrant and sin is negative in the fourth quadrant. Okay. So in the fourth quadrant lies in. The angle of light in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so the fourth quadrant means what now? This is equal to cos. Cos alpha is equal to one by root two. That means cos. Fourth quadrant means what? Three hundred sixty degree. Minus one by root two value is forty five degree. Okay. So you can add this is equal to here. Cos. Cos 315 degree and now this is cos alpha so this is now here sin alpha is equal to minus 1 by root 2 is equal to sin 360 degree minus 45 degree this can be written as sin 315 degree okay so we got now cos alpha sin alpha value we got here now we can add that therefore this equation can be written as x cos 315 degree plus y sin 315 degree is equal to 0 okay okay Okay, we can write now this sentence, okay? Is the required equation for variable form. Okay? Is the required equation for variable form. Now, therefore, our alpha. What is our alpha? <coughs> now, our... <coughs> now, <coughs> and P is equal to here is 0. And alpha value is equal to 315 degree. Let me check the answer. Okay, x cos 315 degree, y sin 315 degree equal to 0, okay. So now the last number is remaining, okay. I number, okay. 